Thank you for joining me in Boone here on this beautiful sunny day. Um, I have a, I have an exotic fragrance to share with you today from the house of L'Artisan Parfumeur from France. The fragrance is called Al Oud, which is Arabic and it means of Oud. I'm going to show you this stunning bottle. I really like the uh, bottles from this house. I find they look I just think they look absolutely stunning. Um, they are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, octagonal. They have a nice heavy stopper. And this one is decorated like, um, I guess like a majlis. Like a majlis with these beautiful panels on the side. Now, although this fragrance is called Al Oud, of Oud, it doesn't actually contain any Oud, rather, um, I, I believe this is by Bert Bertrand de Chaffort, who is a, a legendary fragrance, uh, fragrance creator. Uh, so it doesn't actually contain any oud, rather it's more the idea of oud and the idea of some of the... Uh, some of the things that might surround the culture in which oud is burned. So... It's a nice, wistful... Uh, watercolour painting of how somebody might imagine Arabia, far Arabi, let's say. It's not the Arabia of, of, of uh, the Burj Al Arab or, uh, you know, it's not modern day Dubai. This is a, a, a beautiful fantasy of what. Arabia might see. Now, to smell it straight out of the bottle is a completely different experience than to smell it on somebody's skin. And that's a really, really important thing to, to, to speak about with this fragrance in particular. Out of the bottle, it smells quite dense, quite dirty. There's a lot of cumin in this fragrance. Now, cumin is a spice. If you're not familiar with it, it's uh, used a lot in Indian cookery. It is used a lot in uh, Mexican cuisine as well. Um, and one of the properties that this spice has is that it is excreted in your sweat. So often people who don't have often people who don't otherwise come across cumin in their lives in the kitchen or in general will associate it with um, with Bio, um, and particularly with the Bio of people who eat those kinds of cuisines. So, this is a very strange, this is going in a very strange direction, this fragrance review. But for example, smelling it from the bottle, I could definitely close my eyes and imagine that I am in a taxi a very hot taxi and that the driver needs a shower and that's not a very nice way to open this review because I actually think this is a fantastic and magnificent fragrance and I don't want you to think that the first thing it smells of is bio because it really doesn't but let's talk about that a little more <laughs> so um, to my nose the the some of what's creating that that kind of very personal and you know it's kind of sexy. It's very it, to, to be that close to somebody that you can smell their intimate parts. Um, well, it's it's. I mean, that's the point of aromatic fragrances, isn't it? If someone likes you and they can smell that part of you, they they're going to like you more. If someone smells that part of you and they don't like you, they're going to dislike you more. It's just how the way animalic fragrances work. Now, 
So the animalic uh, aspect of this fragrance, I would say, comes from two main elements. One is the cumin, and the second is castorium. Castorium is a uh, castorium is a fragrance component that is extracted from uh, the uh, the animal, the beaver. Uh, it's used by them. Uh, it's a scent gland used by them. Um, for marking, I believe it's used in certain reproductive rituals and it's also used, the substance is used for waterproofing their fur, I believe. Um, it has a very strange smell of its own. Um, Castorium by itself smells a little bit like rotting garbage or um, back streets in third, you know, back streets in developing nations, like it's, it's kind of putrid. But in extreme dilution and after it's had a chance to mature, it smells beautiful, like uh, a very realistic leather. So those two, uh, those two um, quite brutal elements combine to create the animalic effect. But enough of that. The other elements in here are the dried fruits. Lots and lots of dried fruits, lots of spices. I can very clearly imagine a caravan passing through the desert with pots and pans hanging from the roof and, and bundles of fabric and camels and, and uh, I can imagine gold jewellery clinking as the camels kind of make their way across the desert and it's very very much a, uh, it's very much a romantic fantasy about uh, about the Far East. Now, it does smell completely, like I said, different on a human being than it does on the bottle. I'm going to go ahead and spray this twice. This is an eau de parfum, but it is not particularly, um, despite how it may smell out of the bottle, it's not particularly um, dense. It's actually, it's actually very diffuse. Um, very diffuse and slightly powdery and it's much fresher and very fresh on somebody who wear when you smell it on somebody it becomes it fills with air it becomes it becomes very very diffuse and soft and slightly powdery and very charming and sweet and not at all offensive which is very interesting because the castorium and cumin together are easily uh, and if it makes easily makes a, a, an accord that some people will find offensive. It is most important because of the cumin and castorium that if you put this on, you put it on freshly scrubbed skin. If you put this on any kind of on top of any kind of clamminess, any kind of moist skin, any kind of sweat, you're going to smell disgusting. Disgusting. But if you put this on shower fresh, especially in an evening, it's glorious. I have wonderful memories now, without talk, without going into too much detail about who I actually am and what I do and have done professionally. Um, I used to be a performer, uh, a voc classical vocalist, um, in for lack of a better word, a boy band, except it wasn't really a boy band, it was more conservative than that, I guess. Anyway, I spent considerable time on a cruise ship, and I have lovely memories of wearing this to evening events, to sort of sharing it with my bandmates, and it's an exalting fragrance. If you, it's, it's definitely, I don't think this is really, I can't imagine a I I can't imagine this having the same effect on a lady as it does on a man. I think on a lady... There's no reason a lady could not wear this. None. None whatsoever. If you are interested in the Arabian fantasy, you might like this. It's kind of... peppery and leathery and spicy and... But this is really... this is definitely... I would say this is a fragrance for a man. It's not exactly a signature scent, it's 
it's not something that you'd want to just wear this and this alone because I don't think it's something that you'd want to have on throughout the day. I think this is something to save for... This is, I don't know if it's, it's not a special occasion fragrance. It's not the kind of thing that's so grandiose you can only wear it to a ball. But it's definitely something that you'd want to save for so when you want to when you want to exalt yourself to be slightly better, you know, when you want to have a special night, not necessarily a special event or a special occasion, but when you just want to elevate an evening from the humdrum to something a little bit special, it's very sexy. It is very sexy. On, well, certainly on a on a man, it can be very sexy. I can't. I'm not sure if it would be on a lady. But it's so interesting how that cumin and the uh, castoria make it so intimate. I'm trying to grow, I don't want to get nose tired from now. I want to see if I can catch it on the breeze. If you run dry, as I mean, if you run clammy, forget about it. Forget about it. But if you run dry, says me. Look at this. Says me running dry. If you run dry and you're in an air-conditioned space, actually if you're somewhere where the air is quite dry as opposed to somewhere humid, I think this would, this would perform even better. This is, very, this is very nice. If you're looking to kind of begin exploring Arabian fragrance or what might... Uh, I don't know if it's fair to call this an Arabian fragrance because it's it's a Western fragrance. It's created in a, in a, in a, with a Western structure of top, middle, and bottom. But if you're interested to kind of explore some of the delicacies and uh, um, if you're if you're ready to explore some of some of what makes the East the East, or the Middle East specifically. Check it out. Definitely check it out. It's not inexpensive, but it's not outrageously expensive. I think I got my bottle for eighty dollars, eighty American. Um, when it runs out, I probably won't rush to buy another one. But I'm very glad to have it whilst I do, and so I don't use it often because I want to. I want to keep it around. This is something I definitely enjoy having in my collection, and every so often. I do wear it and think, oh, I should wear this more often. Um, but m please, crying out loud, wear deodorant when you wear this and make sure you put it on after a shower. Um, mm. See, I can't take the scent strip away from my nose, so I definitely you can tell when I do that that this is a fragrance that, that I like. Yes, incense, uh, leather, Spices, the desert. If you want to paint that picture for yourself, go for it. Now, uh, I work for a company called Zhivago Fragrances. Nothing that we have is really in this style. Uh, rather, our fragrances are um, created in a t the spirit of timeless elegance. So, no difficult sharp edges. No, uh, very, you know, nothing, nothing nothing as difficult as this. If you're looking for a gift, especially for a beautiful woman, um, and I highly recommend you visit ZhivagoFragrances.com and you can use the discount code that's here in the in the description. Uh, I'd love to know what you think about Al Oud, if you agree with me or disagree with me, uh, if there's anything you'd like to add. So feel free to press like or press subscribe. Um, I have many, many more videos coming uh, of reviews from my huge collection, so if you share my taste, um, check them out. You might find something uh, that you will really love, and if you don't share my taste, then you'll know exactly what to avoid. So, I look forward to seeing you again, and uh, thank you for coming. Alright, bye.